Have you ever wanted to make your own VR chat world? Never knew where to start? You're in the right place. In this tutorial series, I'll show you how to create your very own room from start to finish. This will be a series accessible to everyone, including those who have never touched 3D before. We will only be using one software in this series, Unity. This way, you'll be able to create worlds fast and efficiently. This is a beginner course that covers everything one should need to know when building a world, including best practices that will lead to higher frame rates, lower world sizes, and faster iteration. In this first tutorial, you will learn how to install Unity navigate the interface, import the VRChat SDK, and test a world. Oh, you need to have a VRChat account with the least new user rank, the blue one. Otherwise, you won't be able to upload anything. First, you need to go to the following link to download the latest version of Unity that VRChat uses. You must be using this exact version or it will not work. Note at the bottom that VRChat only supports using Unity on Windows 10 PC. First, Install the Unity Hub, as it will be useful in managing multiple Unity versions and platforms. This way, we can easily upload a PC and Quest and upgrade our Unity version when VRChat does. After installing the Unity Hub, click on the link of the VRChat documentation webpage to install the current Unity version. When installing, make sure to check Android build support, as this will allow us to also upload for Quest. Once that's installed, Open the Unity Hub and click New at the top right. Name your project, select a location, hit the 3D template, and hit Create. I recommend putting all of your VRChat Unity projects in a folder on your larger hard drive if you have multiple, because they can get pretty big. Once all that is finished, Unity will take a bit to set up everything, then it will open. You should now see the default layout of Unity when you first create a project. If you want to change Unity to dark mode, you can go to Edit, Preferences, General, Editor Theme. The largest and most prominent window is a scene view. It's a 3D view of your Unity scene. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Use the middle mouse button to pan, or press Q and use the left mouse button. If you hold Alt and left click, you can pivot. You can look around by holding the right mouse button and moving your mouse, and while holding, you can also navigate the scene by using the WASD keys, as well as E and Q for ascending and descending. There should be two objects in the default scene. You can see them in the Hierarchy tab, which is on the left side of the screen by default. If you click on the main camera, it will highlight in the editor. The three-axis gizmo will appear on the object in the Scene tab, and the information will appear in the rightmost tab, the Inspector. The inspector shows us all the information of an object, and each collapsible section is called a component. Every object will have a transform component, which denotes its x, y, and z position, rotation, and scale. If you edit the value in the inspector, the object updates in the scene view, and vice versa. At the bottom of the screen is the project view, which shows all of the game assets in the project, which can be dragged into the scene or the hierarchy. Unity scenes are like separate levels or worlds. We can create multiple different scenes in a single Unity project, but a VRChat world is confined to a single scene. You can rearrange these panels however you want. If you ever want to reset to the default layout, you can simply click the drop down in the top right corner which should say Layout and select Default. Or go to Window, Layouts, Default. Okay, for the rest of this lesson, we will set up a test scene to ensure that it is possible to upload working worlds to VRChat. First, we need to add a ground plane for the player to stand on. To add an object, go to the hierarchy, right click in the empty space and select 3D Object Plane. Alternatively, you can go up to the Game Object menu at the top. Press F in the Scene tab with the object selected to snap the camera to it. By default, there should be a gizmo in the center of the object that has three arrows. You can change between the gizmos with W, E, R, T, and Y. We want this plane to be in the center of our scene, also called the origin. To do this, make sure the plane is selected, go to the inspector, 
and under the transform component, click the three vertical dots and click reset. This will reset the X, Y, Z position and rotation of the object to 0, 0, 0 and the scale to 1, 1, 1. Now, we need to import the VRChat SDK, which is a Unity package. First, download the SDK3 worlds from the link below. To import a package, go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, or simply drag in the package file from the File Explorer. After some processing, you'll see a pop-up. This lists all of the assets in the package and will come up every time you want to import one. By default, everything not already imported into the project will be checked. This is what we want, so just click Import. After the package has been imported, you should see there is a new menu in the menu bar called VRChat SDK. Before touching that, Go to the search bar in the project tab and type VRC world. Drag VRC world.prefab into the hierarchy and reset the transform to the world origin if it isn't there already. Now, go to VR chat SDK, show control panel, and a new window should pop up, which you can dock if you like. Log in and select the build tab. Click the buttons to set up layers and set up the collision matrix. Under local testing, check force non-VR. VRChat should launch, and if everything goes well, then you should spawn in the scene on top of the plane. I would recommend closing the VRC SDK window when not in use as it can slow Unity down. If the window is undocked, you can close it by clicking the X at the top right corner, or you can right click on the tab and select Close tab. Before the next lesson, there are a few other things we need to import into our project. The first are two packages that will greatly enhance our workflow. The first is Cyanemu and allows us to test our world by clicking the play button at the top of the screen. That way, we don't have to launch VRChat every time we want to test. The second is VR World Toolkit gives us a bunch of tools to help make our world more optimized and ensure it isn't broken. The final two things we need to install are some pre-built packages. To make our room we will be using ProBuilder, which is a 3D modeler built inside Unity. To install it, go to Window, Package Manager, and at the top of the new window, under Advanced, ensure that Show Preview Package is checked. Then search for ProBuilder and click Install. After that, search for ProGrids and install that too. ProGrids works in tandem with ProBuilder and will snap our objects to an easily modifiable grid. I want to mention a community created tool called World Creator Assistant. It looks to be very promising and automates most of this tutorial. However, as of recording, it's still in alpha so I didn't use it. You can download it by going to the URL in the description and watch the installation video. You are watching this video a while after it has been posted, then this will probably be the more efficient way of starting the VRChat world project going forward. If you need help throughout this series that isn't directly related to these tutorials, I would recommend asking them in the official VRChat Discord as you will get a response faster and it may be difficult to answer questions in the comments section. That's it for this lesson. In the next one, we will start building our room.